A Jacksonville man facing 16 counts of aggravated animal abuse after a disturbing discovery at his home. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avenier joining us live from outside the Duval County Jail after Eric speaking with neighbors who say they noticed this foul smell and dogs living in terrible conditions. Yeah, the suspect uh, who is now in police custody here at the Duval County Jail has been identified as 20-year-old Eugene Mercer III. Now, when the investigation first began, he was originally uh, uh, basically hit with six misdemeanor citations from the uh, animal control officer, uh, basically saying that he was not taking care of his dogs. However, uh, the prosecution, the prosecutors in this case decided that they were going to hit him with a felony, and that's where we are right now. Right now, and I do want to warn you uh, that what you are about to hear in this story may be considered disturbing for some viewers. It was at this home on Park Court near Southside Boulevard where animal control removed 16 hound dogs that they say belonged to 20-year-old Tommy Mercer. According to investigators, the animals were severely emaciated, sick from sitting in their own feces and urine inside these kennels, covered in open sores and infected with worms. Neighbors tell News for Jax the smell coming from the backyard was unbearable. Dile que no estar afuera y ahora, we, can, we couldn't be outside because the animal smell. Neighbors also say they could hear the dogs crying. And not like normal dog whimpering, like wanting to come inside, but uh, it kind of broke our hearts hearing it. You could tell something was up. Did it sound disturbing or did it sound normal? Disturbing, because we wondered if, you know, if they were fed. According to investigators, there was no food in the kennels and the water that was left in the bowls had a green color and not considered clean drinking water. Mercer's grandfather owns the home but says he and his wife were out of town when animal control showed up. He says the dogs were well taken care of and disputes the complaints against his grandson. He was feeding the dogs, taking care of them. He wasn't mistreating the dogs. The smell just got spread around. The dogs were not crying. They were howling at every other dog. Mercer's grandfather says the hound dogs were used for hunting, and to his knowledge, they were in perfect condition. He says his grandson was working long hours and was trying to juggle time at his job with taking care of the animals. Now, right now, Animal Control is trying to gain sole legal custody of those dogs, but I'm being told that Mercer is not signing any paperwork handing them over. I'm also told the animals are still recovering in protective custody with the city. Reporting live from outside the Duval County Jail, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.